In order to change an object's layer, uh, I have a choice, a couple of ways that I can do it. Here I have a center line that is currently uh, on the object layer and it needs to be changed. I click on it and highlight it uh, with its selection using grips. I have my quick properties box open. I can go to the layer, choose from the drop down, change it to the center line, and hit escape to deselect. And then the change has been made. If I'm not using my quick properties, I can select the objects, these two lines. I can use the, the drop down list uh, from my layer panel, choose center, hit escape to deselect, and the change has been made. If I wanted to change the color of an individual item or groups of items uh, in my drawing, it depends on whether I want to enforce that change by layer uniformly across all of the objects on that layer or whether I want to change the object individually. If I wanted to change, for example, the color of the hatching in this uh, drawing, I could go to my layer property manager, go to the hatch layer, and I could change the hatch from red uh, to a different color. I'll take blue. And now I've changed all of the hatching. All the entities that were on the hatch layer have had their color enforced uniformly. If I wanted to change the individual, so I went to this specific hatching. Um, now I can use the quick properties and just change the color. I could change it here. Or I could go up to my properties box and I could change it here. So I can either use my properties box, my quick properties, or my property palette. If I needed to change an object's line type, for example down here I have a cutting plane and right now it's, it's a center line. So I could click on it to select it and I could change it uh, to the cutting plane line and that changes its uh, line type. So now, now you notice that it has the, the line characteristics of a cutting plane which is uh, long and too short sections. Or if I didn't want that associated with a layer then I could click on it on the line. I could get its quick properties or the properties palette. On here I can choose which of these I have. I think a Phantom 2 would be the same as a um, cutting plane line. And now I've enforced the line type. I haven't changed its color. And I haven't changed its layer, but it's going to look like a cutting plane line. Uh, I could also do the same thing by choosing it. And I'm going to turn off my quick properties because I'll go to my uh, properties panel. And here's my line type. I could change, or my line type is right here. I could change to my phantom line. And that just changes that individual line. It doesn't change anything else. If I wanted to change an object's line weight, um, I can change that either by layer or by individual entity. I won't see changes in model space in the weight unless I turn on my show hide line weight. With the show turned on I can now see uh, displayed the weights of the lines. If I wanted to adjust how this visibly looks on the screen, I can go down to I can go to format and choose line weight and I can I have a slider 
that will show me how it's enforced on the screen. So that looks a little bit more reasonable. Now, if I wanted to save or change the line weight for my object lines, my object lines are currently using a line weight of 0 0.60 millimeters. If I change that to default, then I could uniformly enforce that line weight change. If I wanted to change the line weight of an individual item like this center line, uh, I can see that line weight's not in my quick properties. I can double click and open up my properties palette. You can see that I have line weight here and I could choose a different line weight that would be uh, enforced just on that particular line and now I've broken its by, by layer associativity and now it has a specific line weight that I've given it. It can also be changed on the property box up here. Uh, when I have the individual line chosen I can go up to the property box um, and I can set the line weight uh, from here.